we have very important speakers who I will introduce before they speak. However, I want to welcome all those who are joining us on Facebook and recognize those who are present here today. We are honored to have several Korean American, Howard County, and Maryland leaders joining us to today. We have, and please hold your applause till the end since we have a nice crowd here. And I'll just name them, Honorable Judge Chung Pak, Chief Administrative Law Judge of the Maryland Office of Administrative Hearings, Mr. Cho, President, and Dr. Su Song, immediate past president of the Korean American Seniors Association and their board members are also president, present. Young Smith, who is the president of the League of Korean Americans for Maryland and also her board members are present. We have Sue Ann Shafley, who I understand it's also her birthday, who's the executive director of Camp Attaway. We have Richard Lee, who's the chair and Matthew Lee, who's a member of the Howard County Asian American and Pacific Islander Work Group. We have Dr. Hyung Suk Choi, President, and Son Myung Chang, Vice President of the Korean American Association of the State of Maryland. Du Suk Jang, President of the Arirang Association. Chung Kang, President of the National Reunification Advisory Council of Greater Washington. And Jung Kung Choi, Immediate Past President of the Korean American Senior Citizen Association of Maryland. Please let's give them and all of our community members here a warm welcome. Now, without further ado, I would like to welcome our special speakers, starting with our county executive, Dr. Calvin Ball. Good morning, everyone. We are thrilled to be here today at Sushi Q in Jessup to kick off our Winter Restaurants Week and celebrate Korean American Day. Thank you to Consul General Sejun Kwan for joining us from the Korean Embassy. It is fitting as this year marks the celebration of 140 years of diplomatic relations between the United States and the Republic of Korea, which sub subsequently resulted in the first entry of Korean immigrants to the United States on January 13, 1903. The hundreds of Korean American owned businesses in Howard County are a vital economic engine that not only enhance the diverse options in our community, but continue to give back and support our neighbors. Thank you to Jennifer Q for hosting us today. You truly exemplify the spirit of Korean American Day. As a Korean American restaurant owner, mother, and community member, you do us all proud. Howard County, has one of the best restaurant steens in the state and the region. Attracting so many foodies because of our diverse cultural community and our varied cuisines. Now more than ever, it's vital that we support our restaurants, whether you're choosing to dine in or take out. One of the best ways to connect with others in our communities is through a meal. This restaurant weeks we have more than 20 participating restaurants from January 17th through the 30th, so you have so many options. This winter, we're reminded of how important it is to support our small local businesses here in our community. So make sure that you support our restaurants in the coming weeks and beyond. Our restaurants have been through the ringer over the past two years, changing course with the ups and downs of the pandemic. And together, we've been able to provide more than $6 million in county and state funding to more than 750 
of our restaurants to help them through these challenging times, including many of our Korean-owned restaurants and businesses. I want to thank again our incredible partners, Amanda Hoff with Visit Howard County, who has been such an incredible advocate for hospitality and all of our businesses. Leonardo McClarty with the Chamber of Commerce, who has been a fierce advocate and supporter, helping to make sure that our businesses had what they need. And of course, our community, who keeps on investing in our businesses because we can get through this together. We need all of our restaurants to succeed and we need them to be reminded that we have their backs. So let's make sure that we do our part and eat out. Thank you. Thank you, Count County Executive. And now we'll hear from Consul General Se Jun Kwan of the Korean Embassy. Uh, County Executive uh, Calvin Ball, fellow Korean Americans, and distinguished guests. I extend my sincere celebration to the proclamation of 17th Korean American Day and also 140 anniversary of diplomatic relations between Republic of Korea and the United States. I would also like to express my appreciation to Calvin Ball for organizing today's event. Uh, who uh, work very hard every day with uh, other communities together to see their American dreams come true. As you know, the Howard County is very supportive of Korean Americans. Last year, we witnessed, we uh, held launching ceremony of a Korea town built on Route 40 with uh, beautiful artifacts of Korean traditional style of gates. The Korean American community has established a sound immigrant society in the United States by keeping its hope for better lives, love for their families and neighbors, passion for better education, and diligence for better results from workplaces. From the year of Korea's liberation, reconstruction, industrialization, and democratization to the eras of current economic prosperity and Korean wave or Hallyu represented by Korean K culture at large. And every step of achievement was imbued with Korean Americans heartfelt devotion. So my deepest gratitude goes to every Korean American who has contributed to the this proud process. The Korean government and Korean Embassy will continue to do its utmost to assist the growth of Korean American community by enhancing educational infrastructure and also infra institutional uh, framework. By doing so, we believe that the both of U.S.-Korea relations will become stronger going forward. With all good luck to come in the year of 2022, the year of the Black Tiger and lunar calendar. I wish you all the best health and happiness in full. Once again, let's congratulate on the, on the uh, sev uh, seventh, uh, 17th uh, Korean American Day together. Stay safe, stay strong. Thank you very much. Thank you, Consul General. And now we'll hear from Councilwoman Christiana Rigby. Oh, it's always nice to follow Angela versus the county executive. Um, but good morning. Thank you all for being here today. I will wait just a minute for the truck. <laughs> I'm Christiana Rigby, and I'm honored to represent District 3 
on the Howard County Council, where we've all gathered today outside Miss Q's wonderful restaurant. I'm so excited to join County Executive Ball as we kick off the start of Winter Restaurant Week in Howard County. It's an incredible opportunity to highlight and support the many small businesses and local restaurants that contribute to the vibrant economy we have here in Howard County. It's been a tough two years for everybody, <laughs> um, but especially the restaurant community. Uh, um, and it's really inspiring to see the resilience and fortitude of the many restaurants, including Sushi Q, who have continued to serve our community and contribute to our economy here in Howard County. Over the next two weeks, I encourage you to visit some of the over 20 restaurants that are participating and offering special menus and pricing for restaurant weeks. Thank you to County Executive Ball, Visit Howard County, our Korean American community, and all our partners who are working to make these restaurant weeks successful. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Council Member. Now we'll hear from Amanda Hoff, who's the Executive Director for Visit Howard County. Thank you and good morning. First, we once again thank Executive Ball for his steadfast support of our restaurants and the tourism community as a whole. We are especially excited about our upcoming restaurant weeks and craft beverages promotion. This event has always been designed to give restaurants a boost during the post-holiday law. This year, not only are our restaurants up against slower times January brings, they are also feeling the most recent impacts of the pandemic with the spread of the Omicron variant, in addition to the many other challenges they face, including staffing shortages, supply chain issues and rising cost of supplies, decreasing bottom lines, and having to make difficult decisions. Our restaurant community is and has been there for residents and visitors throughout or since the pandemic took hold almost two years ago. They have fed us, they have fed our loved ones, they fed our health and safety workers, and took care of their own. While much of the world went virtual, and still is, our restaurateurs showed up to work day in and day out. They adapted and are still adapting to ever-evolving circumstances and continue to give us the food options we enjoy for our comfort and in many cases rely on. Whether dining at a restaurant or ordering online, it is, all, it is the people working in our restaurants who make it possible. We hope everyone will take advantage of this special opportunity to show support of our restaurants and enjoy some delicious food while doing so. Our restaurants have once again went above and beyond and have come up with the most incredible restaurant week's menus and specials with over 28 and counting. Yes, that's an update uh, from the 20 that we heard earlier. There is something for every taste and every budget as well as every comfort level as our restaurants are following all safety guidelines and have to go options so you can enjoy at home. Restaurant Weeks and Craft Beverages starts this coming Sunday and runs through January 30th, so there's plenty of time to enjoy. Learn more and see all the participating restaurants at hokorestaurantweeks.com. Thank you and happy Restaurant Weeks. Thank you, Amanda. It's fitting that here, it is fitting that here we are at Sushi Q, so let's hear from our owner, of Sushi Q and our host today, Jennifer Q. Thank you everyone for coming. I am very excited to be here at the kickoff to Restaurant Week at Howard County Restaurant Week on Korean American Day. My parents are immigrated from Korea to America and I am the first generation of Korean American. And now as a business owner and a wife and a mom, I am constantly running between multiple restaurants and other business ventures day and night and 24 seven. I choose Howard County because of the living education and my children are playing school here in Howard County. During the pandemic, 
the purpose was to start to support community was to start a VLA that we wanted to support the frontline workers. And we love what we did and we thought that it was best time to pay back the community the love that we got. And I really want to thank Howard County Kevin Balls and General Kwan and those who are here to make me a success. Um, to join our Facebook, please support our Howard County Restaurant Week and come in and dine in or carry out. And we have three locations in Howard County. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jennifer. That was beautifully said. Now we'll hear from Leonardo McClarty, the president of the Chamber of Commerce. Hello and, and good morning and, and again, uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Again, I'm Leonardo McClarty and, and president of the Howard County Chamber and certainly as a business organization and, and one that's dedicated to uh, business and, and economic prosperity here in Howard County, it's always uh, great for me to be able to participate in events like this with our county executive, other dignitaries, our partners in Howard County Tourism as well as um, economic Development Authority as well. I think it's been said about the, the challenges and the struggles that many of our restaurants have endured over the past couple of years, but at the same time I think we also continue to see their creativity, their resiliency, their commitment to community during this time. And I think that creates an opportunity for us to show our commitment to, back to them uh, as well. And so over the next couple of weeks by us going and, and patronizing and, and even being able to actually enlighten ourselves and change our palate by visiting some restaurants that perhaps we may not normally visit, but it's an opportunity to try new things. And I think as Amanda touched on it, when you think about some of the supply chain issues and labor challenges, yet our restaurants are still giving specials and various deals to encourage us to come in, I think the least that we can do is to take them up on that offer. And so again, I thank you all for coming out and also just really want to uh, acknowledge the owner here in, in Miss Q. And when I first pulled up and, and saw Sushi Q7, I said, okay, well, if there's seven, that means there must be a, a six, you know, all the way down to one. And so the fact that we're now at the seventh location, I just certainly, I think, speaks to, you know, their business acumen and, and, and the fact that three of the seven are here in Howard County is also a, a certainly a plus and speaks volumes for our community. So again, thank you and, uh, and look forward to trying some new things over the next two weeks. Thank you, Leonardo. And finally, we'll hear from Larry Chwil, CEO of the Economic Development Authority. It's always fun to go last. Thank you. I'm Larry Chwil. I'm CEO of the Howard County Economic Development Authority. And I wanted to uh, really just uh, say thank you to visit Howard County and the county executive for you know, hosting Restaurant Week. Uh, the authority was proud to participate in the executive's HOCO Rise uh, program last year, and he mentioned the $6 million of grant funding that went to restaurants to help them through that, that tough time. But what restaurants really need more than that is customers, and this week is a focus on customers, so um, just go out, like Leonardo said, go out, try something new, try something different, and be a good customer uh, all, all, all weeks long. Thank you. Thank you. Before we have a special presentation, I'd like it to open it up to the press if there are any questions. Seeing that there are none, let's move to our special presentation to honor Korean American Day. I'd like to welcome Honorable Judge Pak, who will facilitate two special pre presentations. Uh, I want to thank uh, County Executive uh, Dr. Kevin Ball. Uh, but before we have a Korean American Day presentation, uh, I'd like to invite 
uh, Dr. Hyunsuk Choi from the Korean American Association of State of Maryland and also Vice President of the uh, Federation of Korean American Associations, Elena Lee. Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, Dr. Lee, I mean, Dr. Hyunsuk Choi wants to present uh, uh, a recognition to the uh, Dr. Kevin Ball for all the work he does for small businesses and Korean American community. Uh, she, uh, Korean American Association of State of Maryland ordered the uh, plaque, but uh, it didn't come in time, but uh, it has a certificate, so it's, it would like to present the certificate first. Dr. Choi, can you read the certificate? I'll stand. Thank you for inviting. I'm really proud of you. Outstanding Public Servant Award for your outstanding leadership and relentless effort in supporting, advancing the rights and the interests of small business and the immigrants, including Korean American owned small business and the Korean immigrants in Howard County. January 13, 2022, Korean American Association of the State of Maryland, the President Hyun Suk Choi. Thank you for outstanding for this. American community. It's a small token of appreciation from the Korean American community to you for all you do for small businesses in Howard County and, and the Korean American community. I'm going to translate this in an English. Um, meetings are precious and relationships should be beautiful. That's what the meaning is all about. <laughs> You're that special and that special. Thank you, Judge Pack, uh, for that beautiful presentation of this beautiful art as well as the certificate. And now we'll have Dr. Ball officially proclaim Korean American Day here in Howard County. And after that, we'll be inviting all the community leaders present today to have this photo. <clears throat> First of all, thank you so much for those uh, cherished honors. Uh, they mean a great deal to me. Uh, I also want to, I was remiss in that acknowledging uh, Larry Twill and our Economic Development Authority. Uh, I greatly appreciate their work. They were the ones who, especially early on in the pandemic when our businesses were uh, having their biggest challenges and we got the Federal CARES Act funding I was calling them almost daily. How quickly can we get the money to our businesses? And, and they did a fantastic job, and so I want to thank them. So I have an executive proclamation, and it reads, whereas this year marks the celebration of the 140th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the United States and the Republic of Korea, which subsequently resulted in the first entry of Korean immigrants to the United States on January 13, 1903. For more than a century, this vibrant and thriving culture has shared their accomplishments and talents in business, medicine, science, athletics, and the arts to strengthen our community. And whereas 
Korean Americans offer their faithful support to expand Howard County's economic success and cultural awareness. These valued neighbors represent more than 4% of Howard County's population, the highest percentage in Maryland, and operate hundreds of Korean American owned businesses in our county. Whereas it is fitting for Howard County government to recognize our fellow residents of Korean heritage for 119 years of contributions to our nation's diversity and inclusion. Now, therefore, I, Calvin Ball, County Executive of Howard County, do hereby proclaim January 13th, 2022, Korean American Day in Howard County. <laughs>